So like what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run inshore. There's been a lot of sailfish spraying in on the, on the patch reefs. And then we're gonna work our way back up to the east and then set up for kite fishing and using our Tigris outriggers uh, behind Sombrero Reef uh, for sailfish. But it also holds a lot of uh, ballyhoo, you know, and that's why those sailfish will go in there. So me and JC will be in the tower and we can actually sight fish these sailfish in on the patches, especially if it's nice clear water. We have these little O-rings that we put on. What this does, like when we put these on the, uh, the hooks, it's a very small, tiny O-ring. That's how little it is. And then what that does, it, it prevents the uh, hook from going over and doubling over in the bait. So keeping it from getting foul hooked. We do, uh, it's a, uh, we do either six, seven, or eight O's. A lot of times, depending on the size of bait. Depends on the it, size of the bait. Yeah, size of the bait. No matter how your time is spent on the water, Wholesale Marine has the parts and supplies that you need at the price you want. At Wholesale Marine, our associates have over 500 years of combined boating experience to help you make the most of your time on the water. Visit WholesaleMarine.com. So JC's gonna cast that out. And then what we're gonna do, the first one, you know, is gonna be our long and he's gonna put it right here on the rigger. Now, I've already adjusted the tension on there and so there's a, a knob on here, which JC can show you. The, and that's the tension adjuster. So you can make it tighter or looser according to you know, your bait size and what you're fishing for. If you're trolling, you're gonna want a little tighter. So, so if you're trolling, it's not always snapping out. If you're live baiting, I want it a little looser. And then that way there when the fish hits, it drops back, allows them to eat it. I do have a frigate bird up high right over there that I'm watching. You always want to watch for the frigate birds and color changes. We're in 106 feet right here, so it's a good area for sail fishing, you know, behind these big reefs. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna hit a wreck here and we're gonna put up the kite, do a little bottom fish, mix it up. And Furuno has added now on their TZT3s a fish it and drift it feature. So once you punch in your waypoint to go to, instead of hitting go to, it gives you the option to hit fish it. What fish it does, it prompts the drift it button. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zero out on the spot, then I'm gonna hit drift it, and it's just gonna calculate how I'm gonna be drifting, and that's gonna tell me basically where to anchor to fish that spot to zero it back out, or I could drift it and fish it that way too. So we're gonna see how it works right here. And so now I'm zeroed out, I'm at one, feet away from it. So now at this point, I'm gonna hit drift it. And now it says drifting to compute, drifting hit start point. So now I just keep it in neutral. And as we drift, it's gonna calculate everything for us. Now when I click on this right here, I got it set for three minutes. If I wanna do further, I'm gonna set it to five minutes and see how it just moved me out. That'll be five minutes away. 
And, and as you see, I can go to 10, 15, and 20. If you're headed out for a day on the water, make sure you visit Tom Thumb Food Stores. Get your food, drinks, fuel, and ice all in one place. Perfect for your on-the-go Florida lifestyle. Fast, fresh, friendly. Tom Thumb Food Stores. There you go, there you go, Jim. Hooked up over here. Got them on, got them on. There you go, get them, brother. All right, little mutton snapper coming in. That one looks like dinner. Hey, there we go. Legal. Got him. There you go, buddy. Go right down. Great job, Cappy. Reel down, reel down, reel down. Like, get get those cranks going down. I know it's nice to finesse them, but some of these wrecks got big bull sharks, man. And some sushi, baby. Ceviche, sashishi, sha. So here, I'm gonna do the Albright. This right here, I'm gonna attach the wire. This is the AFW wire. And, and then I got the 30 pound high seas fluorocarbon. And we're gonna go through there and we're gonna go around there 10 times. And see how I just keep like, kind of, I move my hand up and then just keep pinching it as it goes up. And then I'm gonna come right back through here and I'm gonna pull both tag ends up and then you can you know, assist the knot up a little bit there like that. And once you get it close, then I'm gonna let go of that tag end 
and then I'm gonna cinch it down just like that. Now this is the important part here is you never wanna cut that wire. What I'm gonna do is just keep bending it back and forth on itself until it naturally falls off. And that way there it's nice and clean. And then I can take this and trim this. And then there goes your wire to mono connection. So this right here, these are the same clips that we have on the outriggers right here. So you, this is your tension adjuster right here. So, you know, lefty loosey, righty tighty. You know, so if I want less tension on there, I'm gonna loosen it up so when the fish eats, it's gonna pop from here and I'm gonna send it out. And we're gonna put the first one on this one, then the second one, and then the third one. But right here, you know, when that fish eats, it's gonna release, let them to eat, and then, you know, it's gonna pop out of the clip and then just wind on it, take up that slack. That circle hook comes tight, goes right in the corner of its mouth, and then it's on. So this right here is a solid ring. We put this on first, and then we put our identification float on, and then we put our weight on here anywhere from one and a half to three ounces, and then a bead, and then, and then our AFW snap swivel. Now, whenever you put this on, you see how I'm twisting it? Because I want this, to be where the boat is so it goes up and down nice and easy. If I put it on like this, next thing you know, the boat's over here, you have that friction on there. You're not gonna be able to uh, uh, you know, raise your bait and lower your bait accordingly. So we're gonna snap it right there and then we put the, the rod on the clicker. What I like to do is actually hold the float in my hand and then I'm gonna release this by using the drag until I get to my, my next swivel. Now we can put the bait on. We're gonna hook the baits the same way that we did like when we were live baiting them, just like right through the nose. No matter how your time is spent on the water, Wholesale Marine has the parts and supplies that you need at the price you want. At Wholesale Marine, our associates have over 500 years of combined boating experience to help you make the most of your time on the water. Visit WholesaleMarine.com. Real, just real, just real, just real, 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 keep turning the handle. Good job, Pat. On the kite, buddy, now you're a pro. Yeah. There you go. I don't know, we'll see. He's fighting hard, boy. He ate a big old ballyhoo, so. He's a nice fish, whatever he is. There you go, nice fish. Big tuna. That's his tip backwards. You got a gaff right here, boys. I need a gaff. Big black fin tuna yeah. out of the kite. Use the anchor trusted by professionals. Fortress anchors are designed lighter, set faster, and provide stronger holding power than the competition. For the best value in anchoring safety and convenience, use the legendary Fortress anchor.